Wireworms are nasty little pests that feed on most commonly grown crops in Manitoba. A threat to your seedlings, these little guys feed on the seed or emerging plant tissues, causing damage, stunting, or even seedling death. If you're concerned about wireworm pressure in your fields and wondering whether control measures like insecticide seed treatments might be necessary, bait trapping can be a handy tool to aid in informed pest management decision making. The bait traps we used were comprised of two tablespoons of wheat seed in between two layers of vermiculite in a plastic pot with holes in the bottom. We assembled our traps in advance and watered them twice on the day of installation to get the wheat seed germinating. Traps should be buried for 10 to 14 days, ideally in soil temperatures above 5 degrees, so balancing soil temperature and time ahead of seeding are important as traps need to be removed ahead of any field operations. To install the traps, make a hole a little deeper than the depth of your pot, removing any green vegetation and roots which will affect the carbon dioxide gradient needed to catch the worms. Fluff up the soil, add a fine layer to the bottom of the hole, making a snug fit against the bottom of your trap. Fill in the space around the trap with the soil, again making sure the trap is snugly in the hole. Put the lid on, mark your trap location, and repeat the process at other locations in the field. The more traps, the better. The best approach is probably four traps in each corner of the field, along with traps in any suspected hotspots throughout the field. More realistically, targeting about one trap per 15 or 20 acres is okay, making sure traps are at least 50 meters apart within the field. After about two weeks, head back to retrieve the traps. We gently popped the traps out using a small shovel and placed each trap in a bag labeled with the field and trap location. Then comes the fun part, looking through the contents for wireworms. Carefully break apart the trap contents and sift through, recording the number of wireworms per trap, repeating this process for each trap. For more information on wireworms and bait trapping, including the step-by-step -step guide, visit our website.